Welcome back on the Stormwatch this morning. Forecasters are warning residents on both the east and west coast of potentially life-threatening severe weather today and into the weekend. Even before the storms rolled in, they started creating all sorts of headaches for travelers. CBS 4's Hena Doba is at LaGuardia Airport in New York with the latest. On both coasts, March is most definitely entering in like a lion. In the Northeast, residents from Washington, D.C. to New England are in the path of a nor'easter. This is snow in Erie, Pennsylvania, already contributing to thousands who've lost power. Heavy rain, massive flooding, and hurricane force winds are also in the forecast. The gusts in some cases may go as high as 90 miles an hour, uh, which will blow someone over. The storm has the potential to be a historic, crippling event, in particular for coastal towns like Situate, Massachusetts. Officials there are warning of a storm surge that could reach around three feet, waves up to 30 feet during severe weather expected to last through three high tides. The winds are going to hold those waters onshore, and then the next tide will come in, and the next tide will come in, so there's not going to be a lot of drainage. All the weather is also wreaking havoc on those with plans to fly this weekend. Hundreds of flights have already been canceled. Here in New York, officials warn there will be more delays to come if the snow and winds materialize as predicted. On the West Coast in Southern California, heavy rain has begun to fall. About 30,000 residents hit hard by deadly wildfires and the subsequent mudslides were ordered to evacuate. The fear is the now barren landscape could be even more prone to mudslides. Hanadoba, CBS News, New York.